U.S. forces say they've destroyed drones launched by Yemen-based Houthis over the Red Sea. Earlier, the armed group said it was responsible for attacking a transport ship. The Houthis say it's part of a response to Israel's war on Gaza. Transport company MSC Mediterranean Shipping says its vessel had been targeted. It says it alerted what it called a coalition task force warship and was told that the commercial vessel should take evasive maneuvers. The crew were unharmed. The U.S. says it's creating a maritime coalition to fend off Houthi attacks on shipping. In support of the oppressed Palestinian people who continue to suffer from killings, destruction, siege and starvation, the naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces, with the help of God, carried out a targeted operation against the commercial ship MSC United using suitable naval missiles. The targeting of the ship came after its crew refused for the third time the warning and repeated warning messages from the naval forces. The Yemeni armed forces also carried out a military operation with a number of drones against military targets in the Israeli port city of Elat. We're going to cross to Russell Sado, who's joining us from Djibouti. So, Russell, talk us through this latest attack and, of course, what kind of impact that's happening, having on shipping in the area. Well, the, the, the attacks are intensified here. So the U.S. Central Command saying that the U.S. assets, military assets in the region, they have shut down 12 one-way attack drones, three anti-ship ballistic missiles, and two land attack uh, cruise missiles in the southern Red Sea uh, that were fired by Houthis over the period of uh, 10 hours, so on Tuesday. So this is quite a huge number. And so far, since October 17th, there have been nearly 100 drones operated by Houthis that have been shut down in the region. Houthis, they have attacked since then. They have attacked uh, more than 21 uh, uh, ships that were passing through the Red Sea. And of course, as a result, the maritime trade here is, is dramatically uh, disrupted. The, the experts here, the authorities here, they're saying that the, the number of the ships passing through Bab el Mandeb have declined, went down, dropped by almost 35 percent. And now, behind me, very close to the port of Djibouti, you can see that dozens of the, 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 the shipping uh, vessels here are stranded. They have been stuck here since days. They are waiting for the clearance, and many of them do not know when they are going to get it, when the road is going to be safe to continue their, their journey. So Houthis here are now setting new rules. So they're saying that every ship that is passing through Bab el Mandeb needs to assure them they had, that they have nothing to do with Israel, that they're not, not going to Israeli ports, that they are not living from the Israeli ports, and that they are not owned by, uh, by Israelis. So, as I said, the, the business here is quite disrupted, and it's ha having also global impact as well. So on Tuesday, the oil price surged by 3%. It is the highest in these months. And several of international shipping companies, they have suspended their operations. Now, the Germany's Hepagloid is saying that today they are going to have discussion how to proceed from now on. Just earlier, almost an, a week ago, they said that they are going to reroute at least 25 ships around Africa. But now they are trying to operate. The U.S. is pressuring over the international shipping companies a lot. However, the situation is here is quite challenging. Russell, thank you very much indeed. Russell Sato talking to us from Djibouti.